Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about um, our GPT store inside Super, inside Superpower Chat GPT. We previously had a video about uh, Superpower Chat GPT GPT store. This is a um, part two of that video with like an introduction to some of the new features that we have added to the GPT store. Now, before um, we start, you can, um, to get um, Superpower Chat GPT, you need to go to Google, search for Superpower Chat GPT, click on the first link. We'll send you to this page. There is a button that says add to Chrome. Click on this button. It will add the extension to your browser. Once you add the extension, you can go to, back to ChatGPT, refresh the page, and you'll see the new features like the folders we have created, the search bar, the top menu, the community prompt, all these folders, all these features. I have talked about them in other videos, but uh, in this one, we're going to talk about the um, GPT uh, store. So. First thing uh, first, um, to access GPT store, you can click on this button, explore GPTs and go here. Now, as you can see here, I'm looking at the um, uh, GPT store that is powered by Super Power Chat GPT. This um, GPT store is um, on by default. It does, looking at this first tab would require a pro subscription but all the other tabs are completely free you can access them you can use them uh, we have all these different categories um like uh, um chat gpt default um, um gpt store you can also change the category here you have the topics the trending by chat GPT, the recent one that you have been using, um, you have like all the other one, Dolly writing, all of these categories, you can just click on them and, and load them, see them here. Uh, also, you have the My GPTs up here and then you can click on create a GPT to create a GPT. Now, um, if you don't want to see this uh, GPT store, Again, all of these, except the first tab up here, except all GPT, all the other tabs are completely free. You can see them without any sub pro subscription. Uh, all of them are available to all users. So it's a, in my opinion, it's a nicer way to like look at um, GPTs uh, or um, custom GPTs. And um, I just I just like this more than the default one. The default one, if you don't like this one, if you just want to see the default one, uh, you can always go to the setting. There is an option here that says en enhance GPT store. It is on by default. If you turn it off, the page will refresh and it will show you the default GPT store, which is this one. There's no tab. You have to scroll down to see everything. The images are smaller. Um, there is no... Um, I'll show you later in the in the enhanced version, but like you don't see the number of um, conversation on these GPTs here, so it's, it might be a little harder to say which one is more popular, which one is less popular. The links don't work. Like if you click on, I, I cannot click on this link, for example. I don't know how many people have been using this. I only see six for each category. I only see the top six, and if I like click on see more. It will just show me what six more like 12 is like the maximum that I can see here, which doesn't seem a lot in my opinion. So it would be nicer if you could see more. Also, like if you do a search, let's say I do PDF, for example, it will show me the top 10 uh, PDF um, GPTs and that's it. I don't see anything beyond that. So with the enhanced version, uh, some of the improvement in the enhanced version of the um sorry not here um, setting enhanced gpt store again the page is going to refresh it's going to load um, this page you can see that number of conversation uh for each um gpt is again you only see that under all gpt this this tab is it requires a pro subscription so if you have a pro subscription you can you can see all of gpts here the other um, benefit of this GPT store is that you, there is like an infinite scroll. You can just keep a scrolling down and you, it, it will automatically load new GPTs here and you can just keep looking at them. Get ideas about like the type of GPTs that you wanna create or, or things like that. The other um, thing about this GPT here is that um, the links are like, you can click on these links. I can click on this and it will just send me to 
like that page or uh, any link that that is clickable that the user had uh, had had the link is you can just click on it the other thing is that every gpt you see here or at least those that the, the creator of the gpt created the category for them you can see the category on the card here so i can tell okay this is a dolly it gives me an idea you can also very easily i can just click on this tag and it will send me to the dolly tab and it will load the uh, dolly um gpts that we have here another thing you can do here is um you can sort gpts here by uh, most popular and if i do that you can see like the most popular gpt right now in the store is this one with five hundred thousand plus um conversation created and this one uh, you, as you can see the number keeps going down but um, it gives you a very good idea of like the most popular gpts in the gpt store um created by the user another thing i can do is to search here now the search here is very uh, powerful i can search by name by author by description or even by the by the category so let's say i want to find all the um gpts created by like this guy chase lane i can just go here and say chase lane and that there is only one gpt created in our store at least uh, there might be more that we don't have yet but let's see let's find um uh, another one let's see uh like the seo seo.ai i think we had another one so yeah seo.ai they have two uh, gpts in our store you can see them here so some users have created multiple gpts and sometimes you use one of those gpts um i think there was someone here um yeah um can I, oh actually the reason you are not seeing um the all the gpts here or some of them show zero is because i'm looking at them at like my local uh database so in the actual database there are way more gpts in the store so um that's why you're not seeing all of them here uh, but there are like over 15 16000 gpts in our store right now i'm sorry i clicked on one of the gpts um another um uh, thing here is uh, oh you can combine search and sort so like i could say like maybe pdf and it will show me all the pdf and then i can say sort by most popular and it will like all of these are now zero but it would technically show me the most um popular one at the top uh, if i do that um another thing you can do here oh i can like search by by category here so let's say i say research um and it will r c h and it will show me um anything that has the research category or like has research in the description or the name for example but that's another way to um look at um find like a specific category in the gpt store again this is the local database that i have and there are just a few example of gpts in this store but if you look at the actual gpt store um uh, in on your chat gpt you'll see way more um um chat custom gpts in your store another thing here is that uh, currently for like these categories we are just showing the same category as open ai just to 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 begin with like these categories but um eventually we are going to have these categories for all of these gpts we already actually have like for some of these like for example for like dolly or like programming or productivity we have like close to maybe a hundred different custom gpts we are waiting for these numbers to grow a little bit more so eventually we are going to use our category for um for the um for the uh, to show the uh, custom gpts um in the um in the store so that way you will be able to see a much more longer list of like um custom gpts for each category which should give you more option uh in the store so these are some of the updates in um in um the uh, our gpt store with superpower chat gpt another option that i'm going to add here is the ability to very quickly uh like if you see here with like your gpt my gpt you have a menu up here you can like edit excuse me edit or delete i'm gonna add a new option here that would basically allow you to 
just very quickly add GPTs from here to this list on the sidebar. That way, instead of like clicking on each GPT, test it, going back to the store, trying to find uh, similar GPTs, you can just click on this the three dot menu up here, add it to the sidebar. And once you add all the ones that you want to try, then you can go here to the sidebar, go to like a new chat and just pick the ones that you want to try here. And then if you don't like them, you can just go here and remove them from the sidebar. But it should make it a lot easier to test multiple uh, custom GPTs without having to go back and forth to the GPT store every time. Another um, a small um, note here is that you can hold down command or control key and click on these GPTs and it will open it in a new tab. So that's another way to like just test um, new custom GPTs instead of like um, having to like click on the chat on the custom GPT and open it in this conversation. So um, these are this is the um, this is uh, here like I just opened another one up here. It will just send you to, to the custom GPT. Um, also, you can um, see the total number of conversation on the custom GPT here as well. It is all something that regular chat GPT doesn't show you. So these were the like new update with our uh, GPT store. I will continue to add more improvement to this GPT store. Maybe in the future, we have some sort of analytics for like every user who has custom GPTs or things like that. Um, we'll see, but uh, I will have more updates in the future about GPT store. Give it a try. Let me know what you think and hope you like it. Thank you.